Dave, uh, I, I, you know, in order to get this project to the level that I think it deserves to be at, uh, I, I've put a lot of work in in the last couple of years to, to really build a, a more positive community around all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are fucking amazing. So, uh, I, you know, I'm sure I can speak for them when I say thank you very much for coming out for a minute and, and being able to talk with us because they're these guys reference you all the time too. Any, anybody that's interested in the in the production side of this, uh, I have made sure that they're they're fully aware of who knows this better than I. You know what I mean, <laughs> man. Those head turns are looking amazing though, with the fish uh, dimensionality. Dude, it looks it great. It came out so good, right? Yeah. Uh oh, something something has changed here though. We did update the artwork, so something's a little off. Though that's cool. That'll give us a chance to go through some tech stuff. And by the way, I do have a list of uh, feature requests and stuff. Right here. <laughs> uh, and, and that is one of them. Sometimes when you update PSD, if there's and I can't tell what the line is for when it does it and when it does not. But sometimes you lose rigging data mm -hmm. when you replace PSD if too many of the shapes have changed. Like, let me go back to rig tab. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so he's got a, a pretty wow. good range of motion of being able to swim around in there. Uh, which I think is not bad, but what I'd really like to do <laughs> is be able to create kind of a um, kind of a uh, almost like a gyroscope effect. Okay, uh, you, you did a video at one point. It was uh, one of the tutorial videos where it's a guy that's next to a campfire roast, roasting a marshmallow. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, and so the the action with the arm where the stick appears, here's the marshmallow, he can set it on, it starts to fire on it. And then you went through yep. a, a hinge issue where instead of the fire tilting as that parameter changes for the stick, it stayed pointing straight up and down. I'd love to do something like that with the contents of the fishbowl so that I could allow the glass to lean and then the water and everything would stay. You know, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. tried that. I tried the moving weld to hinge and I tried free as well on the attached style there. It did not seem to make it work, but the double tagging of the head stuff makes everything kind of weird. It made the blinks break, so I put him on mm -hmm. the blink. Um, yep. I, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure how. I tried it with the hinges that way, but it didn't seem to work. But I, you know, don't get me wrong. I love the look here, but I'd like the body to be able to potentially lean further and you know the the water in it to rock back so that it would be gyroscopic in that way right right yeah Not that's sure if, yeah it, it's it's interesting because i think when you when you th there are certain behaviors that work well together and then there's other behaviors that fight against each other so for for example right. um dragger is notorious for like uh uh, being against other things. So sometimes when you drag, if there's also something else that's pulling on it, um, you know, like, like let's say uh, people add, you know, transform to something because they want to keyframe something or something like that. Right. Those, you, you can run into these issues where these two behaviors don't, and, and it's, it's still honestly a mystery to me sometimes. Like, well, what are the behaviors that play nice together and which are the ones that You're don't? Right, right. Um, so my guess is adding all these face, like by default character animator, it really it's looking for like the first instance of everything it's looking for the first instance of a head and eyes and face and all that and that's why like you did with these you know adding these additional face behaviors you're basically saying okay let's add some um you know additional movement to these there's there's some weird hacks you can do where like you uh you know you you basically make the head completely separate from the body and you get some extra tilt that way um oh yeah there's uh, you, you can yeah, you may kind of do that with origin point too. If you move that uh, up right. higher, you get a, a it's a much higher percentage head movement. You know. Yeah, so you can play around with stuff like that. Um, there's there's you know different rigging situations, but um, yeah, and, and and back to the the issue of the rigging getting broken. A lot of that the the things I notice the most are um, 
either when things are renamed or when they're moved around. So even if you just rename, like uh, like once I renamed a you know a, a top level character instead of Chloe, I called her you know Sally or something like that. Completely removes all the rigging. Character animator for whatever reason is not smart enough yet to understand that uh, even just a name change, even though it's the same assets inside. It uh, it will sometimes uh, mess up with that, and then yeah. and then same thing with moving around. If you move something from one folder to the next or group to the next, um, you can run into issues there. The, the that's that's where you lose the rigging, and then a lot of times. Um, I find my rigging goes off if I make my character wider or taller. So if I'm basically changing the basic dimensions of the puppet, and I'm saying, okay, like if you added a hat to this character, for example, mm -hmm. sometimes character animator can run into issues where it's like, okay, now this is, you know, 200 pixels taller, but it doesn't understand quite how to, um, you know, uh, line up all those things correctly. So a lot of times I'll just make kind of a, a block shaped skeleton for my character and say like, okay, I know it's not gonna go wider than this or that. Maybe I'll do some light rigging, like, you know, just the fixed handles or draggables or that sort of thing. But um, when I'm getting to my heavy rigging, I kind of want to make sure that my hierarchy is at a point where I right. you know, feel pretty good about it. Well, I, and see, that makes sense. I, you know, I'm always real careful with the naming convention and real careful yeah. with the hierarchy. So I, I, I didn't think it was that, but you mentioned when you alter kind of main shapes with their width, the change that got made this morning was that uh with his dragger okay so when he gets up yeah. high enough you start seeing the back of the shoulder back there that was too much so that needed to be reshaped right there and that might have been enough. right that might have right. been enough so no names were changed no hierarchy was changed but a, a primary shape was altered in a significant way that's interesting man yeah yeah mm. so it's it's in uh, you know i i use character animator every day and i of still course. get confused by this stuff in there it's like well it's I, fucking I, magic man <laughs> you know yeah and it's hard when you get into comp so a puppet like this like this is you're you're now getting into super complex territory because basically you've got two faces right you've got i mean well i mean you, as you just showed you have six you know or yeah. so faces but you're kind of dealing with this face inside a face and I, i've done that thing before i have this robot character whose you know face opens up to reveal a second face and Anytime you do that stuff, it just, you know, it's it's great that it can do it, but you kind of have to do these mental gymnastics to remember, okay, yeah, so which eye is this controlling? And I think for me, right. UI perspective, I think we could do a better job of making it clear what is controlling what. And, and we've had some ideas in the past, but it just hasn't, um, you know, made it through to the shipping version yet. Yeah.